A morning accident in Chattanooga lands one woman in the hospital and another woman in handcuffs. News Channel 9's Drew Belay was there as police investigated the crash. He has the story. The boyfriend of the driver of that yellow vehicle tells me that his girlfriend was on her way to work when her world flipped upside down. You could tell it was a car wreck. You just could hear a loud pop. These two cars came to an abrupt stop after a violent collision in front of Laura Worthington's house. I was shaking the whole time. It was hard for me to even call the police. The crash at the intersection of Taylor and Wilder Street happened just before 8 o'clock this morning. Lexus uh, coming down the hill ran the stop sign and uh, struck the uh, yellow car. Once Worthington heard the wreck, she ran outside to see a yellow car flipped on its top. Glass and debris spread across her yard. A couple minutes later, saw a lady climb out the back window. Miraculously, the driver of the yellow Hyundai, a 32-year-old woman, escaped with only scrapes and bruises. It's a miracle she literally walked to the ambulance. If you're wearing your seatbelt, you can go for a ride to the car uh, without suffering too many injuries. The woman's boyfriend declined to go on camera, but tells me he's thankful his girlfriend is okay. Worthington is still a bit in shock. I just don't see how the lady in the yellow car just climbed out the car and walked away like it was nothing. As for the driver of the gold sedan, she was given field sobriety tests and later put in handcuffs. The driver of the Lexus uh, was arrested for DUI. Police tell me that the most important thing you can do when getting into your vehicle is simply strap on your seatbelt. In Chattanooga, Drew Balea, News Channel 9. It took crews about three hours to remove the cars from Worthington's yard and fix the power poles.